Hey guys, now I'm going to talk you through dividing fractions. Dividing fractions is just like multiplying, except you need to remember to turn the second fraction upside down. So let's look at the first example. Four fifths divided by three sevenths. So when we're dividing, I'm going to leave the fraction at the beginning as it is, so four fifths stays the same. The divide symbol, we need to turn into multiply. And then this fraction, the second one, we need to turn upside down. So the seven is now on top and the three is underneath. So now we're just multiplying the two fractions together. So multiply the numerators together. Four multiplied by seven is 28. And then multiply the denominators together. So five multiplied by three is 15. And there we go. I have divided the fractions and I can't simplify that any further. There isn't a common factor in 28 and 15. Now, example number two. So I'm going to start exactly the same way. I'm going to write out the first fraction again, three quarters. Now I'm going to change the divide symbol to multiply. And this second fraction I need to turn upside down. So the two is now on top and the one is underneath. Now we're multiplying again, so multiply the numerators. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, and then multiply the denominators. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. This fraction we can simplify because there's a common factor in both 6 and 4. I can divide both of these numbers by this common factor, which is 2. So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3, and 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. So now this fraction is in its simplest form. Usually in an exam question, you'd be expected to give the fraction in its simplest form in order to get full marks. Now, in the last example, we're dividing two mixed numbers. Before I can do the division, I must turn these mixed numbers into what we call improper fractions. Sometimes we call these top-heavy fractions. So if you don't know how to turn these into improper fractions, I have got another video showing you how to do so. But just quickly, if you want a reminder, the denominator stays the same. And to get the numerator, you do 1 times 3 plus 2, which gives me 5. And so for this one, 2 times 4 plus 3 gives you 11. Okay. Now, back to the dividing. So remember, when we're dividing fractions, the first fraction stays the same. The divide symbol turns into multiply. And the second fraction turns upside down. So now we can multiply. Multiply the numerators together. So 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. Multiply the denominators together. So 3 multiplied by 11 is 33. And we can't simplify this fraction, so we're done. So there you go, dividing fractions.